Ian, welcome to the Paris Trouble. Uh, from the moment you sat down uh, with the chairman, how often did it take you to, to realise that you were both on the same wavelength in terms of, of, of how you see the club, not just this season, but um, moving forward? I think instantly, to be honest. Um, you know, I met the chairman and uh, you know, he's, he's a very ambitious, ambitious person and uh, wants this club to, to do well and, and, and climb, the, climb the leagues, obviously. And uh, I think the, the, the goal is to eventually get Dover in the Football League. Um, you know, I, I'm an ambitious you know, young manager and I, and I want to do well. And, and I feel that, you know, that after the meeting that we had, I think that together, I think there's a, there's a good chance that you know, we will get our, you know, our, our aims and our goals and, and get Dover up the table and, and in the conference and who knows after that. You alluded to in the press conference that the season starts on the 14th of August. Uh, once the players do return from holiday, and, and knuckle down into, into your training. Um, do you foresee a lot of, of emphasis um, on terms of, of, of new tactics? And, and it will there be a, a difference between of what you know of Andy in terms of your style of management and his? I don't think it'll be you know, that, that different, um, really. Um, what I would say is that when the players do come back, you know, they, they, they're going to need to be fit. Um, you know, I like my players to, to have a work ethic and uh, and work hard for each other out on that pitch, you know. Um, nine times out of ten, when a team, the, the, the team that works the hardest wins a game of football. Obviously, there's, you know, a bit of technical ability thrown in there and uh, some, some worldy strikes from distance. But uh, yeah, as I say, if you're working hard out on that pitch and, and tactics are right, and, and you know, we play to us to, to to a framework, if you like, and uh, everyone knows their jobs, you've got more chance of winning games of football. Albeit briefly, you, you've been in charge. Have you had any chance to to weigh up any? Any suitable uh, pre-season friendlies? Um, you know, I obviously spoke to Frank. There's, there's some games, certain games arranged already. Um, I will get in touch with. You know, I've, I've got a lot of contacts out there, and uh, hopefully try and get a, get a few games in. Um, it's a, possibly a little. You know, we start arranging pre-season sort of back January, February as a norm. Um, but uh, you know, I'll get the phone book out and I'll start going through, and that's a, that's going to be a job straight away to try and get a few games arranged. Talking of contacts, um, you sent two players down here on so on, on loan last season. Um, what's were you in constant um, communication with them in terms of what feedback did you get from them about their experience down at Dover? Yeah, I'd say the two the two players, um, Joe Tabiri and, and and Dan Leach, uh, absolutely loved it here. Um, you know that they wasn't in in the, in in the side at Barnet, and they wanted to come out, and I wanted to get them out to to play games. I knew sending them here with Andy being in charge, uh, you know, he, he treat them right, and uh, they came back, and that's exactly what they said, and and they totally enjoyed their experience at, at Dover whilst they were here. This past year, Dover Athletic have had a newly opened academy open uh, over in Faversham. Uh, how much time do you do you plan to to spend down there, not just with the coaches, but with the future players? Uh, I've actually been there this morning, uh, you know, before before they uh, even released that I was uh, the manager. So that's that's going to be key to the future of Dover. You know, I've met, met them lads down there. The setup um, is very good there, um, and you know, coming through youth academy and things like that, you start producing your own players. You'll stand the club in good stead in the future, and, and I think that's a very important part of this football club. Um, if we can develop young players, you know. Bring them through, and, and I'm, 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 I am up for bringing young players into the side. Um, and if we can produce them ourselves, that's brilliant. You've alluded to the fact already that there's, in your opinion, there's already a strong nucleus of, of a first team here. Um, are there other additions which you'll which you'll be looking to uh, to add to that throughout the summer? Uh, of course, you know you're always looking to to, to strengthen. Um, one thing I don't want to do is come and tear tear apart a. a, a a team who have got a good camaraderie there, um, and they've worked well together throughout throughout the last couple of years. Um, a lot of them, and and the lads that are sort of out of contract and have been offered, I, w I want to keep those players. Um, I think that's 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 vital for, for for moving forward. You know, I'd be mad to come in and disband a team that's done so well last year in this division. Um, you know, I think Newport were were were, were miles uh, ahead in the end, and uh, you know that, that that was last year. But this year, I think it's going to be even tighter. I'm sure it will be, um, but there, there'll be additions to the squad, obviously. Um, but as I've said, I don't want to. What I want to do is assess what we've got here already. Um, it m may be fine. <laughs> there are going to be signings, obviously, but because um, a few lads have left. But you know, at the moment, the, the, the squad of players that's here, I want to keep together, and there'll be one or two 
possibly three. I don't know. Um, you know, until until we get into pre-season, get the games underway, get training. Um, but you know, there's, there's one or two targets I have in mind. Um, so we'll see how we go. But as I say, I'm not going to go bringing four, five, six, seven people in. That's for sure. Uh, understandably so. Uh, your top priority is to gain promotion this season. Um, at the same time, uh, the fans would love a would love a run in the FA Cup. Um, in terms of prioritising um, the teams and so on, is the FA Cup something which you'll be taking with as much seriousness as, as you would the league? I think if you just listen to the press press conference, the, ch the chairman's just said he wants to get promoted. So first and foremost, that that is most important. Um, when we come to the FA Cup, obviously we want to get in that and get the crowds and get teams, you know, big teams, league teams, you know, playing against Dover. That 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 is a bonus. First and foremost, um, you know, my priority and the football club's priority is to get out of this division and get into the conference. Um, if along the way we have a cup run and you know we'll take every game, I, I like to play football and I like to win every game I play. I've been like that as a player and I've been like it as a manager. Doesn't always happen, but uh, that's the plan. So if it's FA Cup, if it's the Kent Senior Cup, whatever it is, um, if it's you know if it's a league game, then then, then we're there to win it. So uh, you know we have 42 league games. Who knows how many games we could play? We have cup, cup runs. It's a bonus. Um, obviously, we'd like to get. Get, get as far as we can in the FA Cup, but as I say, the, the main aim is to, to win this league and get out of this division. OK, Ian Hendon, thank you very much for your time. Wish you all the best at Dothan Athletic Football Club. Thank you.